Golden Empire by this Rampant. Welcome back to my Kingdom of Scotland campaign for the ship mod where we're going to continue left off last time abusing the Crusading system. <laughs> where, at the moment, I actually might finish this campaign sooner than I was expecting simply because of this crusade against the Holy Roman Empire. Depending on how it goes, I could very easily see myself finishing this campaign way sooner than I was originally expecting, which I'm not opposed to. Uh, I, I do want to start a new campaign at some point soon. I definitely think I'm going to be doing the 1100 AD mod for Rome next. I think we're going to be going with that. But basically right now, what we're going to do is, um, honestly, might even abuse it even more. Um, I have other generals I can occasionally recruit and just keep throwing <laughs> into the line of duty. Like, hey, over here, let's just get another general and uh, bring him over to help out and just keep getting more and more guys sent over to the crusade. Why not? Uh, also, right. you, I want to try and have you get rid of the switch, please. Thank you. Do not want any of that. So we'll keep trying to have you guys go around over here. Uh, I do think, because we just started these sieges right now, so we have to wait until next turn. But what we can do is the siege target is this city right here. I'll have it so the army right here, all of you, be the one that will make your way over next turn after you take the city. You'll kind of push on in here and just siege it. Basically to make sure that nobody takes it before I do. So we'll do that. I do need to make sure that around here... Let's get some more men um, recruited around these areas, if I can, to try and help garrison these areas to make sure that we can just keep moving as soon as possible. So Reims and uh, Paris as well. Keep recruiting a bunch of guys that we can use as free upkeep units to kind of keep expanding into these regions. Because I'm blitzing the Holy Roman Empire. I need 15 regions to be able to finish this campaign. Um, I already have my one target. I do need London, uh, uh, not London, Jerusalem, sorry. I still need Jerusalem, which is currently actually controlled by the other Crusaders, which is a bit awkward. It's not their capital, though. So I could try and buy it from them when I'm getting to the point of finishing this campaign off. That's not out of the possibility. I'm going to have you also get another archer around here. I need to make sure this area is a little bit happier. So try and get a couple more guys to make sure this area is happy. Um, I do believe Where's we can finally fight? move out of this city. It does look like we can. I do want to say we're going to ignore to over here for right now. I want to make my way back over here. Let's go hit Angora. So I'm going to try and push through you. See if we'll just move away. I just want to stand on the bridge. So that next turn we can try and push in there. Um, I do want to try and see if I can get some more spies around here. I might be able to open the gates. And then we can try and just make our way in. Push on in here. They've got the... That's actually their faction leader right now. Ooh. That'd be nice to be able to take him out. Okay. So, basically, for around here, the land I want to control is... I just want to control a little bit more around here. I still don't know where the fuck the other city is they control around here. Because I know they control one more. I still don't know where it is. I'm not going to move my spies for right now. I'll kind of wait until um, we're done with these two regions for sure. Because these are both cities. Um, that's just a basic family member, that's the current capital. And then I know they've got the one more city over here. Although, actually, from the look of it, I think it's just Angoro just continues and that's actually what's over here. I think that's actually it, because then it's just they have these two cities and then they have this one city over here. I want to take this land for sure. And then Jerusalem. All the other land, basically, we're going to be trying to get just from Rome, basically. So we'll have to see how this crusade goes. Which, if I really do, just keep bringing more and more generals over here it's a little busted, but I love it. Uh, is there any other generals that I can recruit right now? Because I know there was the one guy around here that I was going to grab. I can get another one here, too. Hey, I can basically have it so they grab these field knights, bring them along with us, and keep pushing into, Ro into the Holy Roman Empire. And I do... Oh, you were stuck there? Okay, I'll just grab that guy next turn. Because I do love that it is far too easy for me to um, actually like recruit some really good elite units early on. It's just their upkeep is ridiculous. So me putting them onto the Crusade absolutely helps so much right now and it's kind of ridiculous on how what it can do for my economy right now because i do love i i love this little tidbit it's just a tiny little feature that's like hey i'm I don't, i'm not responsible for equipping and training those units because those are supposed to be the noble units that are doing that the other guys my basic units are the ones that i have to actually train and equip which i just think is a very small little detail that i love about the spot Alrighty, now let's see. So now I can add in, what was it, two more armies into the fold for the crusade. So I have you. I'm gonna grab you with these guys. I do need to make sure you have more men before you properly join, though. That's the issue. So I think I need... How many men was it? I need more than this. But what we can do 
is I can take right, you and you. My king. Kind of, uh, let's see, let's have you go over here this way. Because then you'll actually have a bit more movement still. Let's bring you over here and here. Because I can have you both just join together and then make an army. Yeah, like you guys can now join the crusade. So I can have you guys join the crusade. And it's actually only going to make it so I have to spend 3,000 once. So now what we can do is just have it so I'll have you guys both join in. You'll start making your way over to join on in in the fray. And then I'll keep just having it so that once you have a full second army, the other guy just makes his own army instead. Um, I now do need to make sure that these guys are not able to get over there in this one turn. But we can go over here first. I think you might have to wait one turn. Oh, there's some mercenaries. I can uh, I leave the mercenaries, though. They won't... Uh, that's, that's the one issue. It's just trying to make sure that we have enough men to make sure that we can push through into these regions. Because, like, I'm trying, I'm going to try and send you over this way. Although, actually, if I push you that way, you're going to attack them, aren't you? Yeah, you probably will. Okay, what we can do right now, though, is it was uh, these two. I can bring you up here. So let's start off with this area first. So let's try and... Uh, you're probably just going to run. I've already seized the area. Oh, gates are open, too. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, let's just, yeah, push under here. Get rid of uh, Reynold von Osmark. Just as a bunch of generals. And Cap. And then I can just have it so that you guys, I just meet you outside of the gates. Kill you there. Walk into the city. Those guys that just to my southwest can be um, the guys that will watch over this city. I'll keep just recruiting more and more of the spearmen to just keep making sure we have a garrison. Then this army is going to keep making their way over. I, I do need to make sure I move the army that is right next to the crusading target as soon as possible. I want to make sure that we start sieging it. Because I want to take as much land from them as possible while basically ignoring everything else. Uh, and make sure that nobody can finish the crusade before I'm ready. Now, the enemy reinforcement should be from over here, so I'm actually going to move all of my units over this way. So let's grab all of my infantry, kind of go, like, right here, and then my one singular archer <laughs> right there. I'll have it so that my cav, I'm basically going to have it so you guys can honestly stay where you are. The enemy are bringing and then, at the moment, what we'll do is you guys need to adjust a little bit, kind of, like, right there. Guard position, archer right there, and then my cav. I'm waiting for them to kind of rush into the city center. Then we can just try and run on in here, kill them all. Uh, honestly, maybe I should have sent some of my guys over, but I don't think it matters too much. Because it's like, send two of you over this way. Two, uh, I'll say you guys over this way. And then uh, you over here. Because we're going to try and surround and flank this unit the best we can. Now you guys already have guard mode on, that's good. Because they've only got these two units inside the city. You probably honestly send some of my cab over to go help out with the reinforcing army. But I think you guys should be today. okay. I the should rush you guys over into position because they're getting close to, uh, to us here right now. They've got the one mounted sergeant. That's a light cab unit. That's all they really have too much in this army, so I'm not too worried about that. Crossbow militia should be pretty easy to deal with too. Yeah, let's have you guys kind of make your way around the side here. So let's have you go there. I'm going to have this one unit. Um, okay, so you're going to go right here. Hold off. And then these two, let's have you kind of run off try and go to this road, get you all around here, then charge at the same time. You should be able to absolutely slaughter these guys. Uh, and why are we doing over here? Because so I'm expecting that these guys, the reinforcements, they're just random um, the captains. Our men have yeah, captured we can the enemy just start general. capturing the entire Run enemy army. Well, so yeah, so just run over there. The you guys also are. actually kind of run over here too, just kind of make sure we have some more support there. This entire reinforcing army is just being captured right now. It's beautiful. Some of them are getting through. Just some. The but enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost you guys kind of men. go over here. See if you can catch them before they get back. Look how our cowardly foe runs. Okay, it you guys still try and make your way over here. Where the fuck are you? Okay, you're supposed to be getting over here, my man. Uh, also, I think at this point now, uh, they've got a couple of those guys. I'll have you guys, because you're trying to make your way over here right now. Get over here. Try and open the gates for us, and I can just bring my infantry in as well. Because I have you guys kind of make your way over here. Uh, please capture at least these 40 right here. Because these are spearmen. Those are actually good units. The sergeant and spearmen are a decent unit. So now we should have favor. the gates under our control. Yes, we do. Victory will be ours. Infantry, make your way over. And then my archer. I don't think I'll actually really need you. Because at this point now, uh, we just want to have everybody... Well, you hold off still. So everybody's not in position just yet. Right about... If you fight that male knight unit. But everybody else is making their way out in. Focus on the general's bodyguard first. There you go. Kill him off as soon as possible. Our men are winning 22, the battle. so he's almost if dead. We continue like this, we will smash so that's the, the captain that we don't have to care about uh, at the moment. You're getting your ass kicked. Our men are in control. That's fine. There's plenty of reinforcements that we can have access to, so we're not going to worry about that. So let's see, those guys, where are they at now? That's six, four guys there. So they're almost out of the picture here. 
Six to ninety-two. Okay, so you're almost done there. It's just in the general I think that's left. My lord, we have lost control of the city. The enemy are badly bloodied. Our foolish general is thrown Son of a bitch. Away. And perhaps our chances of victory well, with it. Um, I guess we'll just take control of this army with the, one of the other generals I just added to the crusade. Oh my god, this is also another great way to clean house. I've been trying to get rid of some generals that I don't care about that much anyways. So we can just do that with this guy. Why not? Why not? That works. So yeah, this army's dead. Uh, or the, the general is. The general's dead. The army, though, we can just take one of those other generals I just recruited. Send him up here. Have him take over the army. So we'll actually have to have them wait. Uh, they shouldn't desert before we can get here. Um, I believe. Again, they're they're bankrupt. Just ransom it. And then I will... We'll just sack it. Just sack the region there. Merge men together. And then this area here. Um, definitely get the local guard. Definitely get the local guard around there. Um, you, yeah, start making your way up there. You can either literally next turn. So you'll take over this army. These guys will watch over. Actually, no, what we can do instead, just make sure you guys don't uh, desert, is that. There we go. You've now got your army. I'll have it so that you will now be making your way over to this city next, I would say. Did have, uh, yeah, one guy die, but who cares about him? We don't care about that guy at all. Um, okay, so over here... Again, the main issue I have is just like these guys just can't get over there. I lord, I lord, I lord. Actually, you might, you might be able to get over there in time. So if I still just keep recruiting more of these guys, I lord, take two of them, put them into Lovin. They can still help out. Um, you keep getting some more guys around here. I send them over there as well. I can kind of just send you guys at least to the bridge. That might be the closest we can get them, and then they'll be okay. But I'll have to have you kind of wait until next turn to push over here and start sieging it. And then we'll just siege it out for the entire duration. Um, other than that, new family member. Is that one I care about? I think it is. Yes, it is! Fuck yeah, there's two of them now. Okay, we can finally keep this family line going. That's good. But, you know, I think we're going to keep just trying to get uh, family members that I don't care about killed through these crusades. Because why not? I can just always replace them with somebody else. Um, I do want to... Let's see, go over here. Uh, Reams, I would say. Let's get the council chambers. Try and get that. And then there was also... Oh, uh, also... Oh, God damn it, Gan. Gan just finished their stone uh, workers thing. I would say... Uh, let's get the well. Just, just get the well. Get the well right around there. Uh, Treyes, uh, get the carpenter. Paris, I'll have you guys get the... Um, I don't have any growth right now. It does increase trade goods, actually. Let's grab that. Oh, that's expensive. 7,000 for that windmill? Wow. Claremont, I will say the river ports. Or actually, maybe I should do that. Yeah, that'll also give me more growth around here. I'll do that instead. It's also a little cheaper. Stoneworkers hut around there. You guys still can't do anything until you grow. Uh, you guys can get some stuff. I'll have you get the stonemason's hut. Still haven't grown there, so you guys can't do anything. Uh, has York finally... Nope, two turns. Two turns until that finishes up. Around here, I think you guys... Uh... Even worth it, really? Eh, it's on 130. Yeah, I'll have you guys grab that. Bristol, still haven't grown yet. Um, I would say around here... Ooh! Nice! Thought it cost me like that. I think you guys, um... Public order, but they're pretty happy around here, so I'm not gonna be worried too much about that. Dublin still waiting on you guys to grow as well, so I can't do anything there. And I still feel bad. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to crown my goddamn king right now. I, I I know this is probably just because of the version I was on. You guys are not gonna be able to get to the city size. I need you to in time, possibly, with how much is left of this boss this campaign, possibly. Which kind of sad, but I do hope that the very last thing we can do in this campaign is crown my king as the proper king of Scotland. I got so caught up that I forgot that I actually have these battles ready right now. I didn't, I don't want to forget about them. So let me fight them. I want to make sure we fight these areas, keep pushing through them. Yes, I love the idea of thinking about being able to make my king, the king of Scotland, at the, the final thing for this campaign. But also I want to not forget that I am on a crusade and technically we are on a time crunch that I do need to make sure these armies are moving forward. If they don't move forward, we're going to have desertion, which is a problem. So we need to make sure that we take these cities and then try and keep pushing a little bit closer to the crusading target. 
I don't want to forget that, hey, if I sit around for too long, and if I'm not actually making progress towards the Crusade, then these guys will just disappear. So we do need to make sure we push on in here. I'll have it so, um, let's take my siege towers, let's put you guys over here. Then I can have my ladders over on the other side. Hopefully they'll kind of go back to the city center, because all my rams, I think you're good there, so let's start the plummet. Uh, I can have it so that you guys over here. Let's get you to immediately go up to the wall section. So, like, one of you right here, one of you right here. I'm going to take my cav, and I think I'm going to bring you guys over to this side where my ladders are going, because there's no resistance over here at the moment. So, we can try and bring you guys here. Um, and then I only have... Oh, that's all my skirmishers on there. Uh, I don't want that, because you guys have the towers active. Uh, siege towers. What do they have over here? So, they've got the fuel... Mm, the fuel foot knights around here. I mentioned if you guys kind of back up a little bit, just wait for a second. That unit there is actually a good enough unit that I want to wait, and I don't want to rush over there just yet. Basically, I think we'll focus our attention over on where the ladders are at right now. Because I can bring my cab in here, get them to just start trying to take the city center, pull the enemy forces away from the walls, and then I can very the easily just slaughter them as they're trying to make their way in. No match so like, yeah, you guys kind of go like right there. You guys kind of go like right there. They are pushing away now. I think we can push forward, yeah. So like, let's send to one of you... Uh, here, and one of you here. Now that they're off the walls, the today. you guys can now... So we should now be able to rush on in. Run on in here, go straight to the city center, and then I think now is a good time we can maybe start trying to move you forward. Because by the time that you get in here, these guys should be pulling away. They've got the... Ooh, sword belt foot knights. That's a good unit. They actually have good infantry in this army. That's one thing I'm kind of concerned about. We might take a decent amount of damage because of that, but no. You guys run in here. You guys are trying to make your way over here. And then I've got these two. Uh, oh, by the way, it was you and you. You guys can at least try and make your way forward. So, like, you try and go over here. Uh, that's actually the area we need to hold if we're going to make sure that we're not worrying about the guys that they have um, over there making their way back. Crossbows also make your way over here. Are they not going to get back in time? Oh, no, they're, they're going to try. Okay, Rams are trying to make their way over. I'm going to have my calf. Mm, let's see, I'm going to back off this way. So kind of go over here. So I kind of want you to try and attack these spear. So like you guys kind of try and line up here. This crossbow unit try and line up here. We have lost control of the city. Oh, one of my crusaders is fighting. Pull back. I don't want you to fight them in the city center. I want to fight them somewhere where they possibly can break. The our siege towers are so at pull the back walls. there. Uh, let's have you guys kind of go. Some of you go over now. here. And then I'll have two of you kind of go over here. So if they chase us, they're going to be surrounded. So if you want to chase, you can, but you will be surrounded. And then also to make sure all of you guys turn skirmish off, if you can. Yeah, you can turn skirmish off too. Okay. You guys are now up on the walls. I'm going to have you try and make your way over to try and help out this section. You just freely shoot them. Freely just try and sit here and shoot them. Specifically focus on the general's bodyguard. Try and focus him down first out of all of them. Then once he's dead, I'll please do try and attack my cav. Thank you. <laughs> Surround and kill him, please, now. He's dead. He's so dead. Foot Knights, up. Oh, you need to pull back. Maybe pull back and then try and the hit battle. those units. If we continue like this, the gates we are the almost enemy. down. At this point, then, let's make sure we bring everybody else forward. So let's start moving you guys forward. Well. And then the you can drop your fallen. ram and then start pushing up as well. I don't know if it's going to be necessary, though. Because at this point, enemy general's down to four guys. He's almost dead. You're holding. But once the general's dead, I can probably just charge you with my cross, my calf, break you guys, kill you pretty easily. This unit is the one I want to kind of keep trying to focus on and kill. And then I'm bringing these guys and my spearmen here, too. You're all trying to make your way on in to try and start hitting Good this tidings. unit. The enemy general lies yeah, dead. He's now dead. We have so bring the skirmishers in hell. this way. I'm going to have you try and help out on this side. Cav now. Focus on this feudal foot knight. Try and surround and kill him. Andrew, could just capture the safe center as well, though, too. But that they're going to start breaking now that the general's dead. The enemy are bad. Yeah, because those guys are, are dead. The Let's see. If we continue like this, enemy, we yeah. will smash the You guys are over here trying to fight my infantry. Go ahead. That's fine. I want to have it so you guys do that so I can just surround you. As soon as I charge you, you're going to break. Yep, there we go. Okay. And that battle there. So there's one more of the settlements we need to take in between us and the Crusading target. Now, the issue is... I don't have anybody that can watch over the city. 
I could try and grab... See if there's any mercenaries. Try and grab them. But I think you guys are okay. Out of the two. Out of the armies I've got around here, I think you guys will be fine. You might not have to worry about any sort of um, desertion. But I know I think I might have to worry about you and you. You can't move anymore, so that's fine. But this army here, you can't. Um, let's see. I think you're fine. Yeah, one guy lost. That's good. So we'll take this city as well. And then sack that area too. Oh, these areas make me so much money. Okay, so now the question is... What I can do... Okay, because it's only that one guy that can push forward. So I can either have him go here or here. And I kind of want to have it so all you move this army. So let's do this. I'm going to take you. Move you over here. And then this army here. I'm going to move you up right about there. Give me a watchtower. And then let's have you go for this city. Because then you're close, but then you'll be the one that will go. Uh, this is the guy that goes for the actual crusading target. So you go here, seize this area, you watch over the city. Uh, it's a little upset, but if I lower the taxes, they're okay. Also, if you repair everything, they'll be okay as well. I can also grab the gallows if we need to. Next turn, you'll be making your way over here. Um, you don't actually need to repair anything, that's good. I will have you... I don't know what I want you to build. I think I'll just hold off and build anything right now with you guys. But now, um, that's about all we can do for this turn. I think that's it, because then next turn I can move you out. You'll start sieging the city. I'm not going to try and act actively uh, fight it until it's, like, to the last wire. And if I need to, I can just restart it. Because I really want to take as much land as humanly possible from the Holy Roman Empire before eh, things are a bit of an issue with um, my um, armies just continuing to want to desert. Because as long as I keep bringing more armies over here and making sure they're at least kind of near the target, we should be okay. Let's see, another general I don't want to accept to you, so we're going to reject that. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I was going to say, for a moment, I thought that was the Holy Roman Empire that's like, wait, how are you crusading your own target? That lined up perfectly that it looked like that. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, what the hell are you doing way up here? here by you, infidel. Okay. Um, but, you know, My let's king. keep pushing. Uh, oh, you're in the way. I well, actually, okay, so what we can do here. I need to be able to... I need to go seize that now. Because you are now outside of it. It's actually Poland that's the one that's trying to push in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have it so this army here. Let's take you. We're going to attack this army right here. Actually, I think it'll be better if we attack you. Yes. Attacking this army first will be better. Because this army is smaller. We can focus them down first. Then, the other army will want to advance onto us. They'll tire themselves out, and it'll be easier to break. Also, their entire army is practically crossbows. So, we should be very able, very easily be able to uh, get rid of all these guys. Then we're going to start sieging the settlement, the crusading target, uh, next turn. Let's, see, so let's grab my general and all my cavalry. Put you guys up, and then I've got my skirmishers. And so, the way the reinforcements are coming from, they're going to be coming from up here. So we actually want to kind of go down to this area back here. Um, it's not the best terrain. It's actually downhill. Actually, I kind of want to just... Because they should already be coming from here or here. I think just push straight into them and kind of claim this spot. Yeah, let's do that. So let's start the battle here. All my men start rushing up and trying to be aggressive. Let's have my cab kind of go up to the top there. Skirmishers right about here. So everybody rush forward. I'll have it so that you guys will try and make it so that we can just try and surround these guys and beat them back as quickly as possible. Because if we're back here, this isn't the worst area to defend against the enemy reinforcements. Um, I've got some mailed knights, foot knights. I've got some pretty good infantry, though, too, so I'm not too worried about what they've got there in terms of cavalry. My cav, let's have you guys can go over here. Infantry, so at the moment, that's kind of where they're lined up right there, so let's kind of go here instead of just adjust. So right there. Skirmishers kind of line up here. I think that's close enough, although actually a little further back right now, simply because they're getting really close with those cav units. Enemy cav is not, reinforcements are not here just yet. 
Keep me on foot knights. Yeah, all my infantry is the ones in front. Good now. Nice. Who's the captain again? Captain for this army is this. Nope. This guy back here. It's that one male knight in the back. So he's the one we have to care about. You guys should be able to do very well against that unit. This guy's trying to make his way over. Okay, so let's do this. Let's have like three of you kind of go over here. Two, actually, uh, you two over here. We're gonna try and flank this guy. Try and surround this guy if you can. Not the best, as he's charging us, but that should be okay. If we continue like this, we will you flank. The enemy. You try and go for those. I'm not sorry. Go for the crossbows. Uh, this cab unit is actually trying to fight us. That's actually the captain. Go kill him. Reinforcements aren't here yet. Good. Flies. Three to five. But they're now starting to break. It's gotta be kept from those charges, honestly. Okay, because like you guys, I'll have you kind of push it this way. You kind of push it this way, try and help flank this guy. Let's see, you guys are beating back that male knight unit. Good. Please do, yeah, please don't fight me. Just ignore me. I do need to get into here to help out flank these guys. So let's have you push in there. Go there. You guys the try out here. Our men have slain the enemy okay, there's the captain. Without him, his now their entire army should start breaking. Fight. Number wise, we're at 10 to 8. Not the best, actually. Not the best. Could be better. So let's have it so. Bring my cab back over here. Try and deal with those crossbow. Actually, I'll hit this area first. That area should break pretty easily if we charge that. You can fight those guys. Reinforcements still aren't here yet? Oh, wow. Now they're taking their time. Yeah, now these guys are breaking even before I'm getting into melee with my cab. So let's just run all these guys down. I'm going to probably set up back here. Wait for the reinforcements. The enemy other, or the other enemy army. Only half the enemy it's primarily the crossbows, and so I don't think we're gonna actually have to worry that much with them. So let's just finish these guys off and then set up. All right, here they are. Okay, so let's be a bit more aggressive with them since they have so many skirmishers. Let's have my infantry start trying to make their way forward. Cav off to the side here. They have quite a few cav units themselves. So they've got about five, three, yeah, five units, and then they've got their merchant cav unit. The merchant cav, I believe, is the captain. Yes, he is. So let's have my infantry start trying to rush forward towards their crossbows. And then my cab will be trying to focus on their male knights and take them out. Because at the moment, a third of their army is dead so far. If I'm just aggressive towards them here, I expect to break them. Because they are just a bunch of fucking... Just, uh, they're led by a captain. So, you peasants should die rather easily to my brave Scottish warriors. So kind of rush them in there, guys. And you should be able to win against those guys over there. So all of you move on in. Wise at 1937. It's going okay. Oh, that's going to be painful. Hold, hold, focus on that unit there, please. That's not the best charge there. Oh, some of my guys are not doing so well. Yeah, some of you guys are breaking. I don't like that. Let's make sure you guys blast the horn there to help out. Oh, is my infantry going to all get their asses kicked from here? Oh, please tell me now. Let's see, where's that merchant cab unit? Uh, that's right here. Kill him. Uh, come on, I need you guys to get back in the fight. I know this guy didn't have a lot of command, but still. A lot of you guys are breaking right now. Please shoot this male knight unit. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. <laughs> come on, kill the merchant cab unit. He has to die. He does have worse stats in mind than all my cab, so once their captain's dead, we might start causing a chain around on their end. Just, but Good most tidings. of my infantry is dead. Lies dead. So we I'm gonna hope that you guys now start trying to break, hell. because if you guys don't, I am so gonna lose this fight. Uh, any and all infantry that re, uh, get back, Only I need to regroup. By the Lord, so try and regroup up over here. Can bring us try and regroup with where my skirmishers are at. I'm taking that captain out. You guys try and break these men if you can. Well, I'll finish off that knight first if you can. Trying to regroup you guys, but I... Fuck! I wish you'd lose this fight. God damn it. Okay, you guys need to get out of there. You fighting those spearmen and that cab is not going to work. Okay, keep trying to regroup our guys. But they're all spread out right now. And because my guy is like one... No, he has no command, actually. Um... Okay, let's see. We've killed the captain. So if we can kill their cav, we can do this. It's just not the best. They've still got a decent amount of cav. And I'm hoping that now that your captain's dead, you'll break a bit easier. So this all really depends on if you guys are going to. But oh, my infantry's fucking dead. Shit, I should... I I'm gonna... Mm, I don't like this. 
I'm going to... Don't run towards the enemy forces, please. I, I have to just take... Uh, try to minimize my losses. I have to withdraw. Which annoys me. But, like, my general... If my infantry didn't break, we would have been fucking fine here. But no, you guys suck. So, try and get off the map there. Yep, just run straight that way, please. Not Lord the best. We have been dealt a ouch! Today. I did kill the captains, but it was too late. That's the issue with me using shitty generals as my crusading armies. So, I am not going to be able to start... Well, actually, it depends. Depends how many units are around here. We're set for I, I will accept that. Yes. They captured a lot of my guys. Oh, we'll make them but that. I now can't push out of here. Question is, are there any mercenaries nearby that I can grab? I can grab more. I can grab more mercenaries. So I can do that and replenish quite a bit, but I can't attack again, can I? Oh, no, I could. <laughs> I could fight them again. Uh, I don't think that'll work well because you suck, so... Let's see. The other thing I could do is I can use this. Are you better, General? No. <laughs> um. My king. Because if I don't push now, I'm not going to be able to start sieging that city, and Poland might actually beat me to it. Uh, that's not what I want. Oh, someone! No! He finally died. Oh, he finally died of old age. Took him long enough. Uh, let's see. I actually have quite a bit of something to build. Uh, okay, three over here. I'd say... Get the Sight Hut. Let's say if you guys grab the Sight Hut. I'll have you get the Stonemason's Guild. Monastery. You get the Carpenter here. Uh, Sivas, definitely. Repair that stuff. Actually, don't repair... Oh, actually, no, yeah, do keep those uh, away for now. I would say just get the better hospital. Oh, no, actually, how pissed you guys are? First, get the Gallows. Get the gallows, I need them to just be happy so I can actually keep pushing through. Um, grab that. Let's see, those are all just repairs, so that's fine. Okay. Then, what we can do is... Ooh. Honestly, I kind of hope that you attack me. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ignore you for right now. I'm going to hope you attack me. What we'll do... <laughs> I love that all my crusading armies are fucking idiots. Uh, you don't have a night battle... Oh, no, you actually could. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Do I even want a night battle around here is the question. I could probably take out all these armies. Like, uh, if I set myself up between the city and you, I could probably take that out. But, first and foremost, let's start off with this first. I'm going to try and hit you. Because this way, you both suck. It's fine. Uh, let's fight this. Let's be controlled by the AI. And then this way we can get rid of these guys. If I have enough men survive, I can go siege the city. But no, I can't, because he doesn't have enough movement. Him losing that fight made him lose all of his movement, effectively. Shit. The only way I can start the siege, at the moment, then, is going to be with my other force, then. So, I will have to hope that they don't take that much damage. Uh, with the ones around Frankfurt right now, I mean. So, let's start the battle. And then, at the moment, at least... My allies, are you going to rush into them? Hey, you're making your way over here. I... I hate that I have to actually like, kind of try and push across. So try and take my infantry, try and rush across. Cav, try and go over to the side here more so. I don't like that we have to try and push through, but my allies... Yeah, try and have you guys be aggressive. Try and have shootout stance, but do be aggressive. Push on in here. I need you to be able to flank them, otherwise we're not going to be able to uh, easily actually do much around here. But Cav... Charge right into this crossbow. Try and hit, the, hit them. And then keep trying to go over here next. So hit this guy, then go over here to this crossbow militia unit. It's not going towards that crossbow militia unit. It's not going over where I was telling you, you idiots. Why are you running like that? Why do you have... There's a road here. Do you have to go this way, guys? That's my general, too. Wow. Okay, they're fucking dead. Okay, help out around here for right now. I need you to try and fight around here. My general, I guess, try and run away from this spot right now. Because at the moment, you're not in a really good position where you could easily die. Let's see, 4 to 6% so far. Not the By worst. the saints, 
Our men have slain the enemy At least general. my general's alive. He's fine. The captain's dead. So the enemy captain, if now with him out of the way, it should be a bit easier to push them back. Will be uh, get my archers up here a little bit closer. They're doing a lot of damage to my men on the wall, on the bridge right now. I do not like that. My cav, I'm trying to get you to go hit somebody else that's off to the side. My general, I'm going to bring you over here. Try and distract those skirmishers. Keep trying to push into these men. I'm hoping they'll start breaking soon. Now that we've been able to try and kill the captain. But several of you kind of go off to the side here. Let's see, number Y is 10 to 12. That's better now. <laughs> I really hate that you guys have such bad command. I can't trust you for anything. Oh, thank you. My allies are actually doing something that's really good for them. Yeah, help out with these crossbows. Help push through them. That's better. 12 to 26. Far better. Yeah, these guys are all breaking. Um, I do want to try and capture them all and kill them all if we can. So my cav, uh, let's see, make sure you go over to these crossbows. You're doing the show sense, that's fine. Inventory, honestly, at this point now, I think it's okay to tell you to be on AI commands. Just keep trying to push on into units. My cavalry, yeah, for the moment right now, keep trying to run down these crossbows. Do it again, capture them. Then we will need to adjust our focus over to these reinforcements that they have as well. Because at the moment, we're doing well. Half the enemy army is now dead. This is the larger of the two forces, so us taking out the captain so early for this army will do us a lot of good. Okay, they actually ran off the map like almost instantly after they got on the map. Okay, so that's not that bad. We actually didn't take that much damage there now that we were able to flank them, so that's good. So now, this area is secure. This army here actually might have enough movement on its own. Maybe. Otherwise, I need to now go over to the army that's at Frankfurt. Fight that one, then they can probably start the siege of the city we need to hit. So there. Do you, know? you do! Okay. So what we'll do is I'll have you be the one that actually goes after the city. So you siege them. That way we do have the um, crusading target sieged. They can't stop me. And now I will stay here and siege it for the entire duration. While everybody else tries to just conquer as much as they can. Which means for right now I can actually move... Oh no, you can actually move a decent now. Okay. I'll have you go in here. Watch over the city for us. Um, and then... Oh, that's actually not built up right now. Oh, then uh, grab that so those guys are actually free upkeep units. And then you... Let's on, see... Man. I think I'll have you hit Bessel. Where's the fight? Let's go here. Get a watchtower. Because for the most part right now... Oh, I love that a lot of... Uh, no, that's actually the same one. I was hoping that, that the uh, Holy Roman Empire armies had started to rebel. Given that um, their economy has to be in the shitter. Also, they actually control quite a bit of land down here. As I know for sure, I kind of want to push into the Alps. I would actually like to control quite a bit of the Alp land that they have. So I will say you, again, we'll go over here. Start sieging this area. And then I can just keep getting more mercenaries. You'll start sieging that area. And then I do think we should fight this battle sooner rather than later. I'm just training those guys diplomatic information. Yep, I'm just putting, putting everybody up against the Holy Roman Empire, and I love it. Ooh, you're severely wounded. Oops. And the Pope is fucking loving me right now because of this crusade. I love it. Yeah, he loves me right now. Okay. Let's go hit Frankfurt. Let's hit Frankfurt. I should, I think, be able to... If we put myself in between this army and the city, I can very easily take this alone. Because, like, I can probably just have it so I just have a couple units go inside the city, break down the gates, kill that guy, and then just start capturing the settlement. The entire enemy army reinforcements should probably just be destroyed. I am going to make sure I keep my cab with me, though, this time. I want to make sure that they don't uh, start running away too soon and go... I don't, like, basically, I just don't want to send them to the city like I did last time. So, start deployment. I need to go over here to this spot. Bring everybody over here and then grab all of my cav. All of you guys. This one. All of them. Javelins. So, I'll have all of you guys kind of... Guys, with siege equipment for right now. Kind of drop it. I can wait until we can to destroy the other army. So let's have all of you guys. There we go. Group you all up. I'll we'll have to adjust you in a second. But let's have you go there, there, and then my cavalry kind of off to the side here. Start the battle, and then I need to move over to the side a little bit here. So kind of like to there. Skirmishers right there, and then my cab just kind of line up like right here. So, get in position. We'll kill this entire army. Most of them are all crossbows, so for the most part... Oh, actually... 
I can probably have it so like you guys charge there, charge there, charge there, charge there, 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 and like there. And that actually might just break like the entire army because it's just a captain. Because like they're gonna try and do stuff, but like I don't know. Like they've got some mailed foot knights and everything. Let's see, number wise, ten percent have already died. Twenty-eight. 30% have already died in that charge. Holy shit. The Let's pull back for a second. Has no honor. Yeah, 42% are already dead. Wow. I was not expecting it to be that quick. But you know what? Fuck it. Just start running them all down. Honestly, just do AI commands run them down. Because then you guys will actually spread out and attack them. Because there's so many of them. Oh god. Oh, actually, I moved you guys off to the side a little bit too much. Because you guys need to be in between us at the city center and them. Uh, the cab will get back. That's fine, I guess. Actually, uh, ignore the infantry. Rush to the gates. Don't let them get back to the city center. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, some of them came back. Damn it, they opened the, the gates. General flees like the okay, so one of the cab units will get away. Make sure nobody else gets away. Army. So all of you guys kind of run over here. Crossbows and skirmishers. I'll move you guys a little bit closer. If you guys can, actually just run inside. Oh, they shut the gates. Damn it. Okay, so some of them, again, will get away. But the, I took out most of their forces. So yeah, like, get rid of these guys and the other infantry men they've got around here. Slow down a little bit. And then go for these guys. Some of them are breaking, somehow. Um, I do think we'll say, let's have you grab the ladders. Grab the ladders, bring them over here. We'll have to open the gates, or at least do something. And let's say actually you decide to sally out. Who are you? They might sell you out. If they sell you out, I can very easily just... What are you doing? You going to the walls? Oh, you are going to the walls. Okay, so for now, everybody kind of back off. Infantry, back off as well. I need you guys to start trying to grab the siege equipment. Let's pull my skirmishers back too. So I'll have you just pick up a ladder. I'll use at least the ladder, I'd say. Uh, I could grab the ram. Actually, no, grab the ram instead. The ram will take a little bit more time to get to the in position, though. Okay, they're attacking me before I even have my guys break down the gates. Kind of irritating, okay. Um, if you're going to do that, then I will actually have one of you guys grab the ladders, make sure we can do that, because it seems like they're going to prevent me from being able to break the gates down. They almost did. They got them to 87. So let's have my cav kill these mounted sergeant the units. Then, oh, actually, perfect. Yeah, just run in. Run inside, just go. Hours. Just go for it. The general's in there. Just bring all my cav in here. Kill those guys and just capture the city center. Today. We have, have my infantry to so try and push on in too. Uh, so far, their infantry is ignoring me. Sure. Let's have my infantry kind of move in here. Uh, you can just drop that. Yeah. Everybody, make your way in here. I think my cav should be able to finish off the rest of the uh, army. So let's have you guys will wait there. Cav, though, yeah, you guys just kind of rush on in. Let's see. I've got about 25 guys, about 40 guys total so far that are left in the city center and, and to the form of cavalry. The enemy He's now dead. Let's go. We so now, let's see, so you guys should be done with them any second now. Infantry, you're just going to be trying to focus on the feudal knight units. I don't ah, think we'll have to worry about them, though. I should be able to just have it so that, like, you'll stay in the city center while everybody else is going to run away from here once we're done with them. Still quite a few. There's the three merchant cab units. Oh, no, we didn't kill the other guys. Oh, there we go. So now let's have you and, like, you stay behind. Everybody else... Make your way back over here and try and kill the Foot Knights. Um, they might break as soon as I charge them. The yep, enemy there we go. Army flees the okay. field. So, end the battle. Clear there we go. Slaughter this entire army. Captured of most of them. Not bad. So, now we've gotten Frankfurt under our control, too. Man, I can blitz them so quickly here. I love that I can blitz them so easily here. I almost want to keep doing a similar tactic like this, but with other um, Christian factions. Get them to fight me. Yeah, the ransom, they're, they're poor. They can't actually accept it. Um, but then have it so that I'm the one that's always on the defensive, effectively. And I just have them attack me so much that eventually they are the ones that are excommunicated. Actually, it works out rather well. I love it. Um, let's see if you build the stone mason out there. And then over here, I think you guys... Uh, you know, get the big... No, not the big house. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, get the big house. Get the big house there. I do need to keep making sure that around here, keep getting more men that we can use to help watch over the cities. 
So we'll have it so... My king. Keep saying I come in there. Um, can I send some more I men up here? Because basically I'll send like I'll all three of you. Send I all three of you over here. Onward. Then we can have more men make their way up next turn. Um, you are actually supposed to be part of this army. Um, I think I'm actually going to have you go down south. I want to kind of hit some of these areas down here. So let's have you kind of go this way. Do grab that one unit right here. I Bring him along with. Bring him down this way. March. All of you guys go for this city. Because I was going to kind of leave the alone for them, but you know what? I'll take it. Why not? Because I'm now at 29 regions. Yeah, 40 regions is what we need. I'm sieging another right here, another here. And then Holy Rome. It's not going to take into consideration what they've lost so far. <laughs> Military is dropping. Production. Territory. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So they're at about, what now? Like 16, maybe 15? I like it. I like it. Also, uh, I've got more men. This is... I might try is that again. That's the one that's currently around here. Yeah, oh. yep, not you. Um, what? what was you? Oh, no, yeah, it's you. Okay, so you can get some more guys. Yeah, so grab some more men around here. Actually, I should grab... Actually, grab those crossbows first. Grab the crossbows and then this guy. There we go. Because then you'll have a couple more skirmishers for this army. Um, I don't know if I want to bring any more random crusaders onto the force. We already have, like, four armies pushing into Holy Rome. I think this will be enough, because basically we'll just have you keep sieging here. And then I'm going to hope that I can use you to try and go after Ulm next. That's kind of my thought process. I do... I don't think I'll go along with the idea of continuing to siege the area for multiple... Like, because uh, I can siege for seven turns. As soon as I start hearing talk of desertion, we have to actually attack it. Because I don't want to lose these units. Um... Although, at the moment, actually, it wouldn't be the worst to lose some of them, just because I have so many guys that, right now, um, once the crusade is over, my economy is going to suck. It is not going to be doing well. Ah, perfect. What a great way to end off the video for today. So, we'll fight this battle. This will be the last thing we're probably going to do here, because... How are you the coward again? God damn it, dude. Because <sighs> this army here, besides their artillery pieces, this is not that bad. I'm also on a goddamn bridge, so... Uh, oh, wait, do you have any stakes? Although, I don't... Actually, they have, like, no cab. They have horse archers. That's about it. But, I think we should be okay. They have a lot of our trebuchets. I'm hoping that because this is the main army that's attacking, that I can beat them back pretty easily. Actually be aggressive against them. Um, brush my cab off to the other side so that they can actually deal with the artillery of the other army. Because we can do... Oh, this is actually really good to set up here. Because I've got... Oh, I don't think you guys can use stakes... No, none of you guys can use stakes. Damn it. Okay, so. Let's grab all my archers. Let's grab you guys. Terrain-wise? Honestly, this is actually pretty good for terrain. Like, we can have you guys kind of set up here. Then grab all my cavalry. I'm gonna grab you. Okay, grab all my cavalry. Kind of to the side here. And then, uh, let's see. Show them my javelins, like right there. Okay, my guys don't want to actually properly move. That's fine. Uh, stay where you are. And let's see... Are they going to advance, or are they going to sit? They are going to advance. Okay, so let's give them some time. I think it'll be better for me to kind of wait for them to advance. Uh, I do want my infantry to try and move forward. It's kind of a little awkward, as the terrain is kind of messing them up a little bit. But try and move up here a little bit, you guys. There, there, and there. And then my... I need to be careful, but... Blobbing you guys up so much. But if you guys can... Because you guys might be able to, actually, with the high ground we've got right now. Can you hit the trip? Oh, some of you can. Wow, some of you guys can hit the trip. That. That's actually kind of impressive. So I'll type you guys go there. Cav, just kind of sit here and wait. Basically, I'm going to have my infantry just kind of rush up at them and hope that if I engage them in melee, then start trying to fight them with my... You guys go. Stop that trebuchet. You're doing a lot of damage. Um, Yeah, you guys start fighting them down here. Let me get over here, guys. Then, what we can do is, if we attack from back here, like now, we can break you guys, run across, kill the trebuchet, and they be ready to deal with the other enemy's trebuchet. For the moment, they are actually doing pretty well for themselves. They are not breaking just yet. The enemy captain for this army is the trebuchet. So, again, you guys still just keep trying to kill him. The trebuchet is not taking any damage right now, though. That's a little bit of an issue. Okay. Infantry is trying to fight them here. Oh, some of them are already breaking there. Ooh, good, yes. Yeah, you guys keep capitalizing on that. Keep trying to push into them. 
Because if we can break this force here and then run across, they're really slow so far with the reinforcements, so that's good for us. Victory will be ours. Cav, I might bring... Are you tr okay. For a moment, I thought they were trying to shoot my cav. Um, Bane, I'm bringing you up and around. Let's see if we have time for this. I'm going to try and bring you up and around. This area is breaking. If I have my cav charge on this side, I think we can shatter them. Then do what I want them to do. Okay, there we go. We've been able to push through. Let's have my cav keep making your way across. Let's have you get rid of their trebuchets. And then my infantry kind of line up here. And hopefully, we can just have them be blobbed up here so that the enemy can't even cross. So there, there, and there. Make sure you guys have guard position on if you can. And then I need to move the javelins up. I'm going to say right here. Archers are in a fine position. I'm not too worried about them. Cav, though, you just need to run across and start killing all the trebuchets. Okay. Now I'm going to wait until they've actually crossed the bridge for me to properly start trying to attack them. But the captain's right here. I'm going to see if I can kill him on the charge. Because he is going to be on this left side of the his unit. <laughs> yep, there he goes. He's, he's dead. Good to that is that going to break them? Yep, they're all broken. Dog. So, that wait until these guys have all crossed. So, by the time that I'm done capturing all of these guys, I can very easily just start running across the bridge and start capturing all of them. Because some so far, I'd say I've only captured about a third or killed a third of their army so far. Like this, we will Back here a little enemy. bit. So, I want to make sure you capture these guys. Ignore them. They haven't broken just yet. And the enemy... And the, oh, they still have their trebuchets still. I forgot about that. I thought I'd captured, gotten rid of them all. So, I'll tell you you go here. I'll have some of you spread out and start trying to get rid of the trebuchets. Uh, General and so my other cab kind of run these guys down right now. Yeah, now that that unit's dead, I'll start breaking the rest of their army. So, run these guys down. And now if I get a good hit right here, the rest of their forces should shatter. 71% are already dead. And there's the chain route. So, now let me go run the rest of them down. And we'll have all these guys out of the way. Saint there we go. Andrew, Not bad. So now, those guys are now out of the way. Should open the path for us day. open to remember their city. The so we should now be able to hit Angora in the next turn. And now that there's nobody in my way... God, I'm just doing everything to get the Pope to love me. So I've been able to do very well for the Crusading target. I've conquered a lot of land today. We started, like, what, 25 today? Oh. So guys captured, just execute them all, though. Ooh, they do that other large army, though. I might want to sit on the bridge for a little bit longer because of the other stack. I think I'll, I'll want to wait until that army's defeated, too, before we attack Angora. If I had siege equipment, I think it'd be a bit different. Ooh. You know, yeah, you know, I'm going to accept you. I'm going to accept you into the family tree for once. Uh, Merchant's Guild, York, gladly. Ooh, that's for you. I don't care. <laughs> So we're not going to do that. Uh, Traitor's attack. Yes, I will do that. And then Sivas again. Stop. I just did this. So let's make sure we try and repair everything that gives public order. Well, Gallows first. Uh, actually, that's the only thing that gave public order besides like this. Yeah, because if you guys do that, you should be okay. The city should then be happy. My hope is. Um, but we'll have to see. So let's see. Is there anything else? I think we should be done for today at this point. Oh, Portugal's been excommunicated too. Oh, interesting. Wow. But hey, the Pope now fucking loves me. Gotta love it. We've come a long way. But I'm gonna be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But it's Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.